Ukraine versus Russia. In recent years it has been main topic in every possible media, because of an ongoing civil war in Ukraine and Russia's interference, and annexation of Crimea. But today we are going to look how would their best tanks compare, that is, to compare Ukrainian BM Oplot to modern Russian tanks. BM Oplot entered service in Ukrainian army in 2009 and according to military balance from 2016, at that time Ukraine operated only 10 of those tanks. BM Oplot is an upgraded version of the T-84 tank that entered service in 1999, which is Ukrainian modernization of Soviet T-80 UD tank, which was one of the best tanks in the world at the time. BM Oplot is more modern than any Russian tank currently in service, which does not mean it is actually better. So let's compare it to tanks Russia currently has in active service before making a conclusion. Russia operates with T-72B3, T-80UE and T-90A tanks in active service, and I will compare BM Oplot to those tanks. All Russian tanks as well as BM Oplot have fire control system with second generation thermal imaging system, but here is where BM Oplot stands out. It is equipped with Commander's independent thermal viewer, which also has second generation thermal imaging system, which greatly enhances the commander's capabilities in terms of visibility and when working in night conditions and in conditions of reduced visibility. None of said Russian tanks have CITV, and this is where they lag behind Ukrainian BM Oplot. But now we move to firepower, which does not look good for BM Oplot. All the tanks have similar guns. Russian tanks have 2A46M4 or 2A46M5, which are slightly different from one another, and BM Oplot has KBA3, which is derived from Russian modernized guns, and is very similar to what those Russian tanks have. But here is the main problem with BM Oplot when facing enemy tanks. APFSDS projectile. Sadly, for BM Oplot, Ukraine has failed to create a modernized APFSDS projectile that is capable of defeating modern armor. They had tries in the past, but none of which seems to be brought to life. The most modern projectile Ukraine has is BM-42 Mango, which has 450mm road homogeneous armor penetration at 2km range, which is not enough to beat Russian tanks even without their Contact 5 heavy explosive reactive armor. For example, the worst armored T-72B3 without Contact 5 has armor rated at around 500 to 550 mm of full homogeneous armor equivalency, so it is questionable whether BM Oplot can even penetrate it at point blank. So BM Oplot has to be lucky in order to engage enemy from the side and only then manage to take it out. Russian tanks on the other hand can use modern Swinet Swan projectile with armor penetration of 740 mm of full homogeneous armor at 2 km range. But is that enough to penetrate BM Oplot? BM Oplot is armored with a duplet heavy explosive reactive armor, made mainly in focus of defeating tandem shaped projectiles, but it has great kinetic energy protection as well. On trials, BM 42 Mango, after beating duplet, went 60mm into main armor, so it is highly unlikely that Swinitz 1 can beat both explosive reactive armor and main armor at once, since it is not made to beat heavy explosive reactive armor. But after beating explosive reactive armor, there is high possibility that it will be able to penetrate it, since turret is rated at 700 to 720 mm overall homogeneous armor without EREA, and hull is rated at 550 to 600 mm. But compared to most common threats for tanks, which are handheld rocket launchers and ATGMs, PM Oplot is better protected since it can beat tandem shaped projectiles which are becoming more and more common on modern battlefield, unlike Russian Contact 5, which is understandable since Contact 5 is way older technology. BM Oplot, as well as the Russian T-90A, has soft kill active protection system, this seems to work in the same fashion, just with different name, Varta for BM Oplot and Shtora 1 for T-90A. That type of system is capable of effectively protecting tank against two most common ATGM types, wire-guided sack loss and laser-guided systems. 
but even those types of AT gems are slowly being replaced or upgraded in order to counter those kinds of act protection systems. So another thing to look at is mobility of the tanks. All tanks have roughly similar mobility, T90A being worst with 60 to 65 km per hour top speed and 21 to 22 horsepower per ton ratio, and best is the ATUE with 27 horsepower per ton ratio and top speed just like BM Uplot and T72B3 which is 70 km per hour. So BM Uplot does not fall behind nor is it better than Russian tanks in mobility, even if it is heavier than Russian tanks, being 51 tons and Russian tanks close to 46 tons each, which is mainly due to its way larger explosive reactive armor. But main problem with BM Uplot is availability, as stated before Ukraine operates just around 10 BM Uplot tanks and their production for domestic use is very slow and it is mainly focused for export to Thailand that currently has around 40 units delivered to it. Many countries turn away from BM Uplot because of Ukrainian inability to produce them in larger amounts. But the problem with production of BM Uplot is Ukrainian economy, which is very poor due to current ongoing war, and country just cannot afford large amounts of the tank and they can either produce it in larger numbers. Russia on the other hand has over 500 T-90A tanks, around 500 T-80U tanks and around 1500 T-72B3 tanks, and just 10 BM Apple tanks is extremely low amount compared to Russian tanks. But as a single unit it can be said that aside from firepower it is maybe better than current Russian tanks in active service. But Russia has made new tanks, and already there are more of them than there are BM Uplots. New T-80M tank is the first Russian tank in mass production to use CITV, but it is equipped with the third generation thermal imaging system, new engine, new relic explosive reactive armor which is similar in effectiveness to Ukrainian duplet, and other components that make it way better tank than BM Uplot. There is also T-80BVM which is an upgrade for the Russian T-80BV tanks with relic explosive reactive armor, second generation thermal imaging system, new engine, but it still lacks CITV. And of course T-14 Armata to which BM Uplot just cannot be compared to. That is it, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.